Struggling with apps leaking data behind your back? Confused about what your Mac is really sharing online? It's frustrating. Apps connect to random servers, alerts make no sense, and privacy settings feel like guesswork. But what if you could see every connection in real time and decide what stays or goes with just a click? In this video, I'll show you how to use Little Snitch, the powerful Mac OS firewall that reveals what your system is really up to and lets you take control. No fluff, no jargon, just clear steps to block unwanted traffic and protect your data without breaking your flow. And by the end, you'll know not just how to stop shady connections, but which ones you never expected in the first place. Let's dive in. Step 1. Download Little Snitch. Search for Little Snitch on Google. Hit that download button. Once the download finishes, open your downloads folder and find the .dmg file. Step 2. Install Little Snitch. Double click the .dmg file to mount the installer. In the window that opens, drag the Little Snitch icon to your applications folder. Now launch Little Snitch. Go to Applications Greater Than Little Snitch Configuration and double click to start. You'll be prompted to grant permissions and follow the prompts. Return to the app and complete the setup using the installation assistant. Step 3. Understanding the Interface Rules List In the left sidebar, click Rules. You'll now see all allow deny entries, listed by app, domain, and port. Network Monitor. Click the menu bar icon at the top right of your screen. Select Open Network Monitor. Alerts and Notifications. These pop up automatically, right in the center of your screen, whenever an unknown connection is detected. Real-time Connection. Alerts. Little Snitch notifies you in real time when any app on your Mac tries to connect to the internet, and it lets you decide whether to allow or block it. Let's say you open a photo editor or PDF viewer and suddenly, it tries to contact a server online. Maybe it's checking for updates. Maybe it's sending usage data. That's when Little Snitch steps in with a pop-up alert. Here, Terminal is trying to connect to GitHub's API. Little Snitch alerts me and asks what to do. I can allow it once, always, or block it entirely. This gives me total control over all outgoing traffic. Using the network monitor. To open it, click the little snitch menu bar icon, top right corner, select open network monitor. You'll now see a live visual overview of everything your Mac is doing online. Center panel shows a real-time map of network connections. See exactly which apps are connecting to which servers. Left panel lists all active apps or background processes sending receiving data. Right panel, network summary, gives you detailed info like domain or IP address, amount of data sent or received protocol used, like HTTPS or TCP. Want to focus in on something suspicious? Use the filter bar top left corner to sort by application name, server name, protocol type, and more. See something you don't trust? Right-click the connection or hit the block button. Little Snitch will immediately stop all traffic to that domain from the app. You can review or adjust rules anytime via rules greater than rule groups. Creating and managing rules. To open the rules list, go to Little Snitch configuration, left sidebar, rules to add a new rule. 
click the plus button at the bottom left. Then choose which app, what destination. And the action, allow or deny, click. Create rule, and you're set. Now you know how to use Little Snitch to protect your Mac from unwanted data leaks. Take control of your network and block those sneaky apps from sending your info out. Drop a comment below. What's the most unexpected app you saw trying to connect online? And don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe for more Genius Mac tips coming your way.